Hello, Young and Old here, and welcome to my channel. Now, today I want to go over what a, a disappointment basically the last two years riding has been 23 24, both not really good, and how I plan to make 2025 a better one. Stay tuned and watch the intro. So, fast track back to early March 2023. We booked a breakdown in North Kent. The journey down there was okay weather wise, but that was about it. Every other day it was dull, damp, and miserable. Oh, apart from the return journey, where we came back the whole way in horrendous rain. Making it borderline dangerous in my book, and I remember trying to look to see if we was in the right lane on a merging motorway as I couldn't even see the signs clearly. I did try and take some footage of the uh, few days away and try and create some content but it was so dull and boring I just sent it to the recycle bin and didn't bother. The next trip was our usual pilgrimage to the Isle of Wight which we normally enjoy. We did decide to go a day later at the last minute as here again it was torrential rain on the Friday but the forecast was nice for the Saturday. We lost another day while we were there as my battery was about dead and just leaving the ignition on for a minute meant the bike wouldn't start. On this particular day the rest of the group had just left the caravan site and we planned to catch them up so we ended up just sitting around being bored all day. My wife was also a bit fed up as we've been going for quite a while now and she felt there was nothing more to see for a while, hence the reason we didn't plan to return again this year. The break I had been looking forward to all year would soon be here and that was to West Bay. The site we had booked was just a two minutes walk from the harbour so we could ride out in the day and then in the night time we can just stroll into the harbour, have something to eat while we were there and watch the bikes that turn up to this nice bike venue. We were just about ready to pack two days before and then my wife suddenly felt ill. She works in care so she did a test, yep, she got Covid and she felt rough with it. She mentioned that I should still go but that wasn't really an option as we'd planned to go as a couple. Also, we were sharing a van with Mr. and Mrs. Matt Mickey, and I was worried that if I went down with Covid while I were down there, I could pass it on to them. I didn't catch it, so I would have been okay. Another late season break had been booked to the East Coast, but I wasn't really interested in that due to some non-riders going, so everyone was taking the cars down there, and that's just not my thing at all, as I hate driving. One of the group kindly mentioned that I could share a caravan with him, and if I took my bike, he would take his. My wife said, you go, as you miss West Bay. It was one of those cheap fill up the van offers from a Monday to Friday. Right, that's it then, I will go. The day before the guy I was sharing with went down with a, a bad cold but he said he was still okay so he would still be going. We actually did have a great ride down there and all was good. I'm not into the seaside markets and the usual tat shops so instead of meeting up with the rest of the crowd we went for a ride around and just met the rest of the group later. On the Wednesday, I woke up feeling rough myself. Not just a cold, but I did feel pretty bad. We were planning to return on the Friday, but there was a storm coming in, predicting bad roads, floodings, etc. So on the Thursday morning, I decided to set off home to avoid it. My mate decided to do the same. Even though I felt still a bit rough, I actually enjoyed the ride back, as the weather were quite nice. 
it's a good job we did this because sure enough the rest of the group said the return journey was really bad and they were in cars so it would have been absolutely lousy on a bike especially when you've already got a cold or flu So at the end of 2023 all I could do was look forward to this year 2024 and the impending improvements that would happen. Well sadly they didn't happen. Once again we seem to be blighted by the weather as well as not going down to the Isle of Wight. Meaning touring was once again not really happening. As I mentioned my wife works in care and she really does care about the residents and colleagues at the home where she works. They're always short staffed so when someone is ill or on annual leave there are shifts that need to be covered and my wife just can't say no. She ends up working far more hours than her contracted ones. But still, we had the Devon break to look forward to and it would be a good run out on the Versus. This is outside the, uh, the pub where we're staying. It's called the Poulton Mooring. And look at that, eh? they've got a biker on the front. So bikers must be welcome. It's in a nice little village. If you haven't seen the content for this trip, please check it out. For those who have not seen it, I did mention that on the second day I dropped the bike. We were stationary and luckily not hurt in any way, but we were stranded in the middle of nowhere for most of the day. My wife was a little bit shook up and didn't really want to get back on the bike, but we needed to get back to the hotel so she didn't really have a lot of choice. I could feel she was a nervous pillion something she never was before. So the next day we basically just sit, spent sitting around doing nothing. The following day we were meant to be stopping off for another night and meet some fellow content creators but my wife just wanted to take the bus home. So we left a day early, my wife got several buses while I rode the bike home. I had been hoping to book something for July, August, but as my wife doesn't really want to go pillion anymore, there wasn't much point. Having said that, my unexpected hospital stay would have ruined that idea anyway. So now we move on to September. We booked another late cheapo caravan deal in Norfolk. At the present, my wife still doesn't want to ride on the bike, but I do have the option of going alone. There's a few of us going, but mostly they're all couples. I'll just see how the weather goes, looking closer to the day. I don't mind the odd shower, but if it's going to be chucking it down every day, then basically I won't go. I'm not going to lose much anyway. Moving on to next year. Hopefully there'll be some improvements for 2025. If my wife is still not going on the bike, then I plan to do most breaks solo. I can look at the weather, decide, yeah, I'll go somewhere, and book at short notice. Either a few days in a B&B, or a spot on motor camping. I just need a new taller tent and a decent chair. If my wife fancies a holiday somewhere, then there's plenty of options for us to fly off somewhere and have a joint holiday. So I'm not planning anything for next year and maybe I will not. I might just have more frequent shorter two or three night breaks and just go at the last minute. At least it saves booking something, spending months looking forward to it and then having it snatched away at the last minute. You tend to lose a fair bit of money as well as the disappointment. So I hope you've enjoyed this content, if you have please do the ticks to like and subscribe, but as always 
take care ride safe and bye for now